G'day. After chatting with a few of my subscribers, I've decided it's worth ha making not just the three long videos explaining how to integrate the basic patterns, but three short ones demonstrating the speed as well, without too much of the clutter of the explanation. So to go with my first video, which is describing the six basic derivatives and their, therefore their six inverse functions, their six integrals, I'm going to show how that pattern would apply here. The first time, actually I'll use two colours. Here we have powers of x, and I would write this as a 6 here, x squared, plus 5, now this is x cubed, but the square root is a power of a half, so it'd be x to the 3 on 2, dx. Now the pattern we need to integrate is 3x squared, so we compensate by dividing the coefficient by 3 as well. And over here, one more than this would be 5 on 2, and we would compensate by multiplying this by 2 on 5. I'm using multiplication signs. Strictly speaking, I should be using uh, dots. And all that means is this. 3 into 6 is 2. The integral of 3x squared is x cubed. Plus, the 5s divide out and leave 2. And the integral of this is x to the 5 on 2 plus c. And that's it. By making the adjustments and making sure these patterns fit, the, the integral is very, very simple indeed. This one here, I would write the 5 on... Oh. It's not as fast as I'm making out, is it? I, I'm very cluttered here trying to do 5 on the one screen. I'm going to write the 5 on 3 out the front and leave the e to the x inside. Do I need any coefficient? Well, no, the integral of e to the x is e to the x. Therefore, the answer is 5 on 3, e to the x plus c. This one here, integrate, move the 2 thirds out the front. 1 on x, dx. Do I need any other coefficients? No, that's a pure integral. The integral of 1 over x is log x. Strictly speaking, log absolute value of x. Uh, we'll talk about that in another video. This one, move the 3 outside. Is that a pure integral? No. The derivative of cosine is minus sine, or negative sine. So I need a negative sign here, and to compensate, I make the coefficient out the front negative as well, so the two negatives make a positive, and that would leave negative 3, integral of this, this is a pure integral now, cos x plus c. And this one here, we'd move the half out the front. The integral of sec squared is a pure integral, tan x, because the derivative of tan x is sec squared x. The derivative of cosine is minus sine, or negative sine x. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The derivative of log x is 1 on x, etc. Now, if you have done a lot of integrating, you will see these as fairly elementary, perhaps even trivial, but it's to demonstrate the basic patterns involved. And I'm going to leave it at that. There are two other videos coming, one showing the chain rule, or at least the inverse of what we call the chain rule when we take the derivatives. And the next one will be, the third one will be integration by parts, which is the reverse of the product rule when we differentiate. So I'll be demonstrating those quickly. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.